in the break all I've done is admin save on R1 and rebooted R1 alongside R2 so they've both been rebooted the only difference is that the interface configuration that I've performed on R1 has been saved. When you add a configuration in the root context, it automatically adds it to the operational configuration. And this can be troublesome, to say the least. The, the better way to actually perform any configuration changes is to add it to the candidate configuration. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. To enter the candidate configuration, we say candidate edit. Now, when you see this section here, when you see edit config, this means that you're in the candidate configuration. And to start configuring in the candidate configuration, I'm not sure if you can do this here actually, but let's have a look at the show card. You see that it's gone back to the default, so there's no cards, there's no MDAs, there's nothing actually provisioned on this. Like back to the vanilla router, we, we will do the configuration fully. The first thing I'm going to do is configure the card. So configure card one, the card type is here. And then we're going to configure MDA one, MDA type now i'm not sure if this will auto complete no um so from memory i would say that is m5 dash i might get this wrong but 1 gb dash sfp dash b now if you get this wrong if i've got that wrong which i don't think i have but if i got that if i have got that wrong then um the whole configuration will fail basically and we can't do a show MDMA because the card is not configured okay so we'll, we'll crack on and we'll have a look at that later so I've configured the card I've configured the MDA the next step is to configure the ports configure ports and we're going to use the range command 1 slash 1 slash 1 brackets 1 to 5 make sure it's the right closure no shutdown and then we're going to configure the system name so configure system name of Alcatel R2 then the next step is to configure the interface so configure router interface R2 to R2 to R1 using port 1 slash 1 slash 1 with an address of 10.1.12.2 slash 24 no shut back and then we're going to configure the loopback so configure router interface loopback we're going to make sure it's a loopback address and the address is 192.168.0.2 slash 24 and then we're going to configure the system address. Configure router interface system. An address of 2 slash 2.2.2.2 slash 32. Now, now we see that we've done the configuration here. If we jump onto R1 now. And if we do a ping, now that we've added this configuration, we shouldn't be able to ping 10.1.12.1, ping ourselves, our own interface is up. But if we try to ping the interface on the other side, rapid, it's not pingable. Control C to exit out of that. And this is because this configuration has been added into the candidate config. And in the candidate config, we can actually view the config, we could edit it. So if we now say something like candidate edit, okay, we're already editing it. Configure router 
interface system and let's make the address something different 2.2.2.2 slash 24 now we know that we cannot use a slash 24 for the for the system interface because it needs to be a host address but it's taking it under the candidate config so if I, I now use candidate view to see the output I see that there are two addresses under the candidate config when you get this star here this star actually signifies the last line of the candidate configuration without the exit I'm reviewing it here now and I found that I've made a mistake I want to delete one of the lines so what I would do is candidate oh sorry candidate delete and I want to delete line delete line 37 now it's removed the correct address if we now go into candidate view we see that the system interface is entered here if I wanted to actually copy this line I could say candidate copy let's say line 37 it's copied line 37 and if I wanted to put this line somewhere else in the configuration I could say candidate insert and insert the line afterwards so I don't know let's say we're going to insert it here as an example so I'll say candidate insert at line 24 and if I put 24 it will actually insert it in line 25 so candidate insert 24 let's have a look at that candidate view line it actually added it after all of those because you couldn't put it so it added in router into it added in lines 26 27 and 28 I see that I've made a total mistake of that so if I could just say undo candidate undo and it will remove those and I go into candidate view I can see those lines have been removed and the last thing I want to do now I see that the interface system is wrong I want to actually just edit the line at line 37 so I can say candidate go to line 37 it's gone to line 37 and I want to edit that address 2.2.2.2 slash 32 cool let me have a look at the candidate view just under this interface I see that there are two of them and I want to delete line 37 now actually what I will do rather than deleting line 37 I will do an undo which will undo the last command candidate undo so instead of going to that line and I will say candidate replace actually before I do that let me have a candidate view to see what line number it is so it's at line number 37 I will say candidate replace line 37 and what do you want to replace it with I want to replace it with a th slash 32 and we see that it's removed that and if I do a candidate view now now I'm looking through this configuration it all looks correct so what I'm going to do I'm going to actually commit this configuration I will say a candidate commit what this will do this will take the candidate configuration and add it into the operational configuration I, I don't want to actually do that without seeing if anything ha happens so I'll say candidate commit and it needs to be confirmed in one minute so if I press this CLA rollback like okay so I haven't actually configured any rollback commands at the moment what I will need to do here candidate commit confirmed in one and I'll say no checkpoint now the no checkpoint command is going to be used if I haven't actually configured any rollback it's going to commit the candidate configuration 
but if it's not confirmed within one minute it will roll it back and it will do this without creating a checkpoint I will do a continuous ping from R1 ping 10.1.12.2 rapid repaid no rapid let's count to a million too many hundred thousand and then on this side I'm gonna press enter okay intermittent pings at the moment and now there it's it's actually confirmed the configuration but this should stop because within one minute I'm not going to confirm it on R2 and it should roll it back so let's wait for the minute and see we've got that music going what's the music for um oh, I can't think of it there's countdown dun 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 in in America you probably use Jeopardy but I can't think of the music for Jeopardy off the top of my head so we'll carry on with countdown dun 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 just in time and we see that the candidate commit was not confirmed and it has been reverted back and we're no longer able to ping so let me stop these pings expand this again press enter and we see that we have a star and the candidate configuration hasn't been saved so if I say candidate view configuration is still there what I'm actually going to do I'm actually going to send this candidate configuration to the file directory so if I now say candidate save and if I just put sending it to the compact flash and I'm going to uh, I'm going to call it candidate candidate dot text and it's written it now I could come out of the candidate config so if I say candidate quit and I'm out and there are uncommitted changes because because we haven't ran the candidate commit so what I can do I look in the file directory now we should have an additional file it is there it's called candidate.txt now again what I can do an alternative way to load the config so say if I wanted to do the candidate config and I was going to do a change at midnight I would do the configuration first the candidate text and then at midnight if I wanted to add these changes what I will do on R2 so let's run this ping again and what I will do on R2 when the change comes in rather than adding all those changes in I could use the exec command now the exec command will load a file from the file directory and if I use echo echo will show you the actual commands that are being added so if I say this cf3 dash candidate dot text and I'm loading the candidate text enter it's loaded all of those commands it's added them into the operational config and there we go life is good and I'm going to say an admin save on R2 and everything is A-OK. -okay. Let me just stop these pings on R1.